wanted to compress files so they can be transported from disk to disk without taking up much space. Or maybe you want to encrypt files so you can have some protection. Using folders in Mac OS X can be good, but can never achieve the protection or the ability to compress with folders. What you can do is create an image. Now you know what a disk image is. The thing is, you just don't know that you know what it is. Every time you download a program from Apple or some other place, you get a .dmg file. This file is a compressed version of the image and allows the user to mount the image, which decompresses the files that which are in the image. We are going to learn how to create our own image. You're going to go down to your dock and click Finder. This opens up a window, and you go to the Applications folder. Down at the bottom, we are actually going to go into the Utilities folder. Now you're going to search through the Utilities folder until you find Disk Utility, which is, should be near the top. Double click on it, and allow it to open. Disk Utility is a great application to use, but for right now we're just going to use it to create an image. First, you got to make sure that you ha don't have anything selected here. You don't want to have this. Just to prevent that, just click on an empty space on the window. Now you're going to cl click on the new image icon, and this window is going to come up. Save as is just a way for you to call your image. I'm just going to call it test. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And from here, I can choose the size from 2.5 meg megabytes all the way to 8 gigabytes. If these don't meet what I want, I can always create a custom one. Let's say I'm just going to create a 3 megabyte one. OK. Now, for those who want encryption, you're going to click on the encryption pu uh, pull down slot. And you're going to click AES128. That's the only type that you can do. You're going to leave the format as is. And then you're going to press create. This part allows you to type in your password. You can either type in your own password or you can press this key. And this pulls up the password assistant. You can choose from mem memorable passwords, letters and numbers, numbers, random. And this one, which I don't really know what it is. But you can also use manual passwords. The good thing about this is that you can suggest a password, and it'll tell you the quality strength that your password has. So if I wanted dog, D-O-G, you can see that it's not a very good password, and it can even state reasons why. Like, this is in the dictionary. But if I uh, do passwords like I own image, it's a much better password. Please note that the password is case sensitive. That's why capital E is, has a higher quality rating than a lowercase e. If you forget your password or are unable to type it correctly, there is nothing that you can do to get your image back. So for right now, we're just going to do a simple password, test, T-E-S-T, -E and going to verify that. Test. One thing you want to do is uncheck this box. Otherwise, anybody can get to your password by going to your keychain. This will defeat the purpose of the encryption. You're going to press OK. And the drive has been mounted and attached. Right here is the, is the uh, image. This will just act like a folder. You can place whatever you want. This is a picture that I'm going to hide from my brother. I, I don't want to necessarily delete it because it's kind of a cool picture, but I don't want Brian to see it. So I'm going to click and drag the image over to here, and now it snaps into place just like a folder. Now if I want to take this image, I mount the, the drive by clicking this eject button here, and now all I have is this, the test.dmg. If I ever want to get this back, I simply double click and it prompts me to enter my password. And I'm going to type in test, all lowercase. Make sure this box is unchecked and click OK. Now it's mounted again, we click and we can view our picture. This is a very useful way to compress files for transport and to encrypt important information as well as personal files. 
Anything that can go into a folder can go into an image. This is especially useful because you can customize how much disk space this can hold. Just think of it as a virtual hard drive. One thing that I need to stress is that this is a case sensitive password if you choose to do use a password. It, that means if you use an uppercase E and you type a lowercase E, it's not going to work. You have to have the password be exactly the same. I hope you were able to use this to your advantage, and I hope you learned something from doing this. Thank you.